Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Welcome to another tennis nerd video. There's been a pause, I've been moving house. Now I'm in the new place, um, trying different setups to see what looks and works best. Hopefully I can get some soundproofing and uh, get a little bit less echo because that's been the problem. Malta is made of stone and glass in many ways and sea, of course. I'm in, uh, in the countryside now and I have uh, an office here and I hope uh, that I can get it soundproofed and have a pretty good recording environment. I'm not there yet, so you have to bear with me for this video and perhaps a few more coming up. Today, I didn't want to talk about that. I want to talk about Pro Kenix rackets. I'm about to send them back to Tennis Warehouse Europe after this playtest. Uh, great to have a demo service, Tennis Warehouse and Tennis Warehouse Europe sending me demo rackets. I uh, really appreciate that, so thanks to them. If you want to buy anything, please click the links in the description below. And uh, thanks to being a, an affiliate of theirs, I get a small commission if you purchase through my links, for which I am very, very grateful and helps me do more content and work more with Tennis Nerd. This is not a full-time thing for me. Uh, I, it's a dream that it would be that way, but I cannot sustain it right now. So any small piece of help, whether it's a racket consultation, joining patreon.com slash tennis nerd for more content, or buying something through the links in the description that really helps. So thanks and uh, and I appreciate all of you. Over to the rackets and uh, let's start with my favorite first. I've, I've tried three rackets, one tour, one black ace and one 300. Uh, they all have something called kinetic technology, which is kind of micro bearings uh, moving around inside the frame. They're in four different chambers. And when you hit the ball, those, um, those bearings move towards the impact zone and also that eliminates shock. This technology works. My arm has been much better when playing with these frames and if I would play exclusively with these I'm pretty sure it would be all but healed. As soon as I throw another stiffer frame into the mix I feel it. So I can definitely say from my opinion that this technology works. I'm really happy with it and the frame I've been most happy with is a little bit of a, of a surprise. It's this yellow thing here. It's the KI and the names, I know the names are long, they can be annoying, uh, so please bear with me. KI Q plus Kinetic KI, that was, that's it. Quad Focus is the four different chambers with uh, micro bearings and the plus five is something else. I don't 100% know, but I will know when I edit this video, so you will find it in the text below. It also comes with Spiral Tech Carbon, which is something that I assume is very similar to what Head does with their spiral fibers. Uh, racket companies usually, you know, mix their technologies. Sometimes Head does one thing and then Wilson does the same and so on. Uh, you can't do too much with a tennis racket. You know, it's graphite carbon and then you add something in the layup and that's it, pretty much. What Prokenics have done with these frames is the kinetic and that's a, a game changer for tennis elbow in my opinion and, and should be something you look at if you have arm issues, if you have concerns. The feel and performance, they're not for everyone, but it's something to, to put on your list if you suffer from arm issues, uh, which I've done from uh, time to time in the last couple of years. Before I didn't have any problems, but uh, I've, I've changed my technique, moved more to a semi-western grip. I've tried tons of rackets. I play almost every day, at least five times a week. So that puts a lot of strain on the arm. I'm trying to change up my schedule a bit, give me some more room in between sessions also to work on content and uh, hopefully that should be a better balance in my life and also in the terms of, of getting content and so on. Q plus five KI, um, 300 grams, 100 square inch racket. The interesting thing here is a 1620 pattern, pretty tight pattern, really like that. Uh, I'm a big fan of 1620 patterns. This one does the job here as well. Um, pretty hefty swing weight, these frames. This one is, is close to, to even balance even. Uh, more weight in the head. Uh, my buddy Matthew who also tried these rackets. He didn't like this one at all. I'm gonna play this one now. I just had an essay from Jonas saying what racket is. It is the Pro Kenex Kinetic Q Plus 5, 200 grams. 100 square inches, 200 grams, uh, 1622 in pattern. Uh, he thought it was way too, uh, you know, head heavy and felt sluggish. He's a guy who whips the ball more, he plays with a lot of topspin. I like a more flat pancake shot when I'm playing my normal style. I've tried, as some have noticed, to add more spin and spin and spin over the last couple of years. It's not 100% natural to me and it might look a bit clunky at times. Uh, I prefer to hit the ball flatter uh, with some spin, but, but mainly flat. But I've tried to increase the ball trajectory 
playing around with the new techniques and that's also contributed to the arm pain uh, I felt over that time. But yeah, from the, the three pro connects that I've just tried, I like this one the least. Uh, it's a balanced racket. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's just like not much whip. I, I, I can't generate much whip. It feels like I'm taking it back. And it feels like I'm hitting with a plank of wood and stuff with the racket where I can really maneuver it, you know? Yeah, so no, not for me. Uh, so this one is hefty, 330 swing weight, uh, it's something to swing, 21.5 millimeter beam, that's a little bit less power than, uh, than these kind of pure drive style rackets, which is, which is what it is, and it has a medium high stiffness, 65 strong, so 68 unstrung. But this racket really wowed me, uh, the way it plows through the ball, uh, I, I felt like I could play my style of tennis with the aggressive moving to the net, blocking in, blocking a, a volley for winners. Uh, it worked for my game. Three other guys tried it, they didn't like this one. They, they like this one the least of the bunch. So that's why it's good to demo or you know get a consultation, get some help uh, uh, from your tennis, you know, purchasing from your tennis shop or whatever because it might not be for you, but for, it, for me it clicked, this frame. It's something I, I consider switching to, especially if, because of its arm friendliness, but also because I can get, generate good power and still get good control from the 1620 pattern. Um, what I like, forehand I like a lot, uh, really going flat, trying to play aggressive. The one-handed backhand for me was a little bit uh, slower through the air, a little bit more sluggish, I prefer a bit more whippy feel. Volleys, rock solid, not maximum feel I would say, but really solid on volleys, so just block uh, back for a winner. Uh, but there's another frame that does volleys better in my opinion of these three. Uh, but serve also good pace, um, it's not the whippiest racket through the air, but one, one, once you get it moving it hits a nice ball. So this frame does what I wanted to, it hits uh, a big ball, helps me attack. Pretty nice on defense, really good for taking bolts on the rise. So uh, thumbs up to me, but test it first because I don't know what you might think considering that a few other guys tried this and they weren't as happy as I am. Then we get to this one, big brother, small kid brother, I don't know, what do you want to call this? It's the tour version, also 300 grams, but the tour version is green and comes in at 98 square inches instead and a 1619 pattern. So a bit more open pattern for more spin, bit smaller head size for a bit more control. So a little bit different launch angle, a little bit more head life balance to be able to maneuver it. Still, it's up in the 330 range. 330 range of swing weight is up at the, at the higher level of uh, what most recreational players like. So uh, beware that the swing weight of these frames is pretty high. Uh, gutsy move by Prokenex, I like it, but it's not for everyone. I tried it with Miami Big Spin, uh, nice string if you string it low, a bit stiff if you string it high in my opinion, uh, very shaped so you got a lot of spin. I didn't like this quite as much as the other one, wasn't as solid quite, um, a little bit smaller sweet spot than the other yellow frame, but uh, as a kind of a replacement, an arm friendly option to a blade, blade is pretty arm friendly, but to a, that kind of spec. Uh, this one is very interesting and my buddy Joao who plays with a pure drive uh, and you know he really likes the pure drive he tried this and he was pretty much sold and he doesn't have arm issues with the pure drive but he just liked the feel and performance of this racket so it has something for it for sure um, and it's kind of more in the middle of these three frames and uh, it's not quite there for me I like the 1620 pattern more I just felt like the extra sweet spot I got from the yellow one was, was a bit better for my game, but uh, I think a lot of players will find themselves in the middle. And if you wonder what kinetic sounds like, it's this. So that's uh, the maracas effect that I've talked about in previous videos. Nice stick, uh, kind of in the middle, average good stick. Uh, I think some players will, will really like this one. Definitely a demo if you're into kind of blade style rackets with the 300 grams, a uh, bit heavier swing weight, good control, uh, decent spin but not crazy spin. This one did everything kind of more on balance than the yellow one, even when it comes to volleys, serve, it's a pretty well balanced racket, it wasn't fantastic anywhere, I liked it more on the one handed backhand but I liked it less on the forehand. So it was kind of a more you know versatile in the middle frame uh, without any outstanding features. Then we have this one, this is a bit different, it's the Black Ace Pro, 305 grams, uh, Pro Staff style spec, 97 square inches, 1619 uh, pattern, pretty thin beam which I really like, uh, and still high swing weight, so the 330 swing weight here makes this racket 
pretty solid but also quite whippy thanks to the thin beam so Matthew who tried this he was really happy with this frame uh, loved the arm friendliness of it com coming from the Pure Aero VS he just felt like it was very easy to generate top spin quite fast and he could hit a, a heavy ball thanks to the swing weight so this is an interesting frame for sure uh, I felt like the 1690 pattern was perhaps a bit open for my taste I do ha tend to like these days a little bit bigger head size for more um, more sweet spot and more margin for error but this frame it is a kind of a pro style frame in many ways with a high flex high swing weight definitely a quality frame great for the arm no doubt about it this one is very good for the arm 57 ra strong 60 unstrung just very soft on the arm buttery feel the best at the volleys also perhaps the best on serve because it really whips faster through the air thanks to the thin beam didn't like it as much on the ground strokes. I felt it was a little bit more erratic, but I don't play with the spin. It didn't feel as natural for the flat style of game, but it felt quite natural for guys who hit with a low top spin and can handle the 97 square inch. Some top spin players, they like an arrow. We want a big head size. This one is a little bit faster, whippier, and comparing it to the Pro Staff 97, Matthew said that this is a much better racket in his opinion. I do like the Pro Staff as well, but this one is definitely an interesting competitor with the low flex and uh, the open pattern. Uh, reminds me a bit of the Angel K7 Red, which is a racket I, I really like. So I, I definitely respect this racket a lot. It's my second favorite uh, after the, the yellow one. Just a little bit um, when you have that flex, you, you f I feel the sweet spot gets smaller with all this flex. So you really need to hit this ball in the center of the string bed. And I also felt like it could launch a little bit on me. Uh, but when Matthew played with it, who has a more natural topspin game, it was not an issue with, with that. So probably it is something in my game that doesn't quite fit this spec. So I'll just play the red one. Conclusion, it's a nice racket. Uh, yeah, it's soft, it flies through the air though, it's a racket, the acceleration, like it's so swift through the air, it's really nice, I'd, I'd recommend it. Nice frame, if you're an attacking player, if you hit with a low top spin, this is a frame you should check out, because it's very good on the arm, and also offers some nice pace and decent whippiness for the high swing weight. So those are the three Prokenix rackets. All good rackets, really happy about this play test. I can't say that enough. I, I, did, I came into it with, with nothing really. I had no idea how these played, um, but I, I came out feeling very, very happy about testing them. And I don't really want to send them back, to be honest. I, I would like to keep all three of them, play around with, with them a bit more, but I've tried them over a couple of weeks and I'm, I'm pretty certain what I feel about them. It's just that I would actually like to, to get one or two yellow ones to have because for my arm it was great it really works well for my game as well which is something uh, you definitely need to look for so it has to work for you i like this racket three other guys i played with with all these three rackets didn't like it but for me it worked so sometimes that's how it is in tennis and tennis rackets it's a personal thing well, that's all for this Prokenix Rackets review. I hope you found it useful. And uh, if you do, please click like, share it with your tennis friends and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the help I can get, grow the channel and to create more content. Uh, I will get to more of your questions in the comments field as well. I've been super busy with the move and I have another job as well and other things. So it's been a crazy time, but hopefully during summer now I can, can get more into tennis nerd territory again. Thanks a lot, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.